Salute our brave hearts in this very special show Salam Mumbai This is where for me the most shocking part of Mumbai terror attacks happened three top police officials of Mumbai police were shot dead here outside Kama hospital you can see the gunshots here while i could attend Heman Karkare's funeral in Mumbai I could not be there for the last journey of Ashok Kamte in Pune. Ashok Kamte as I knew him was not just an upright officer but also a sincere and honest human being with a great sense of humor. We will all miss Ashok Kamte. Are yaar koi bhi ek gulaya ka phatak se lag jayega wagera khatam aisa. I never imagined Ashok falling in this you know in this situation you know, it was too good at the guns and too good i mean thought police thought of everything before mo doing anything you know what we say now was he was in the police he says i am the toughest toughest and i'm not going to let anything get in the way to it nothing describes acp ashok kamte better than that word tough He was a super cop, a man whose martial ancestry flowed through his veins. A third generation policeman who feared no one. And he was trotting off, little fellow, he must have been 6 years old I think. We had given him an air rifle with the tiny pellets, you know, which doesn't hurt anyone. And he went off to the mandir and he shot the pujari in the leg. Kamte was the stuff legends are made of and that is exactly what he did as police chief of Sholapur where his status was bigger than a bollywood movie star where songs were dedicated to him celebrating his deeds he was a one man army wo akela akele sab ek army ke barabar the So when the terror attack gripped Mumbai, Kamte wasted no time. Along with ATS chief Hemant Karkare and encounter specialist Vijay Salaskar, he led from the front. He was all prepared. I spoke to him. Ashok, uh, you are go. He said, "Dad, I'll be going into uh, this." And I said, "Well, uh, be careful. I'll I hope to see you tomorrow for a drink." And he said, "Yes, Dad, we'll meet for a drink tomorrow." And that's it. But even legends have to end. Kamte and his fellow officers were shot down fighting for Mumbai at the front line of the city's horrific twist with terror. At 1:30 in the morning, my servant wakes me up and tells me he's dead. You know, I mean, I, I, I became like a, a dummy, you know, a solid rock. I still couldn't believe that he has gone. And I'll never believe it. I can't. I always feel one day he'll walk in. Kamte's death affected everyone he had known. Kamte, the super cop, was also Kamte, the loving son and a loving husband, a man who meant so much to so many. My backbone is gone now. My strength. I mean, I cry like this, but I can't cry the way I want to cry for him. You know, for being the type of man that he was, so in love with his job. You know, and all this encounter business and everything he liked. I suppose this is the best way God has taken him. And I'm peace all over now. <laughs> 